It's literally been an hour. God. Someone's hungry. And it's not me. It is Nessie. And apparently Axel, because he is in his food dish. Eee. And they're also waiting. <laughs> So our <laughs> You're like the size of the door handle. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> So, I'm officially transitioning them from the baby brine shrimp to blackworms. The place I get blackworms from are very finicky about it. I don't know why. So I'm probably going to start um, breeding my own blackworms. Basically, I'm obviously not going to name names, but both me and my friend call in and they basically tell us uh, on the phone, yes, we have black worms in, and then they transfer you, and then the next person is like, oh no, we don't have any. Or um, sometimes you'll call ahead and they'll say, yes, we have some, you get there, and then they tell you, no, sorry, we don't have any. And then if you complain, well, I talked to someone on the phone and they said you had them in, they then say, Oh, sorry, yeah, we do have some in. Like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, they're unreliable as shit, and uh, we're done with them. So, what I do to feed these little guys, uh, black worms, is I took a worm, and, uh, <laughs> I mean, I try to cut it in half. What I really do is cut it, like, <laughs> way off the mark but and then and then I just drop it near them and they miss that's what they do that's how they survive in the wild oh wait no they don't but that's unrelated to their inability to ever catch anything there and they just catch little piece and chomp chomp and then I take the other piece, and then I feed it to the next one. And they run away from it because they're small and tiny and scared. Come on. Sometimes they do both. They both eat it and run away. You can see it in their mouth.
My goodness. Chill out. on your head. And now it's next to you. You're gonna get it? Of course not. Wow. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna guess the two top names for axolotls are Toothless and Bubbles. Look at its face in the reflection. <laughs> also, they're very much getting used to the tweezers now, which is nice. Look at that fat belly. Needs to be fatter though. Yeah. So they're all pretty full now. Um, none of them are at least accepting any more food. So I'll do this two to three times a day. Um, after they eat, I give them like 15 minutes to half an hour to digest, and then I change their water, and then they just relax the rest of the time. They're getting pretty big. Um, they will be switched out of these containers pretty soon. Um, I have a couple different containers that I'm toying around with changing them into. But we'll see. Also, the heater for my port beta broke, so now I have to go get a new one. Wow, okay, hiccups. 